Yes! <laughs> it's Christmas! I'm feeling Christmassy now. Are you feeling Christmassy, Steve? Oh, yeah. Yes, Steve is feeling Christmassy. Good. Me too. Now, it is a really naive, but sadly very common criticism of the Bible that the Old Testament bit before Jesus, God is seen as a God who judges and doesn't care. And in the New Testament, God is all, oh, like, I love you, oh, you're amazing. As if God randomly decided to change his mind and went, oh, okay, we'll just send Jesus. Now, sadly, you can't criticise like that if you have actually read the Bible. Jesus here is speaking about the judgment of the Jews. I don't know a person who is comfortable thinking about judgment, particularly not on the 13th of December. But judgment is a good thing, right? It's right that someone who has, like a bloke who's beating up his wife, that they get judged. Judgment is good when it's done rightly. We can all agree that, right? So if God is perfect, then at no point are you ever going to say to God that his judgment is wrong. Jesus here, I keep pointing down here because my Bible's down here, Jesus here is warning Jerusalem, the centre of Jewish life, that they've done wrong and that judgment is going to come. But as you read through, have a think about whether Jesus is talking about specific judgment on the people at the time or future judgment that's going to be faced by everyone. And as a side note, uh, just remember that the people thought if a bad thing happened to you, then it was because you had sinned and God wasn't happy. So if you're a woman who couldn't stand up properly, for example, like the woman you'll read about in just a second, the Jewish leaders would have said that, that she was like that because either she or her parents sinned. They'd sinned against God and, th and this was the punishment. But look at what Jesus thinks about that when you read it. The last thing I want to say is along the theme of urgency. When you read what Jesus says about how people will react once the opportunity to be saved by God ends, it will probably get you thinking about times when you've pushed the limit to and you've gone too far. If you're driving and the petrol gauge is telling you that there is, it's definitely time to refuel, you can either choose to go and refuel or to risk it and keep going. Jesus here is saying that there's urgency. Don't wait. Go and refuel. Go to Jesus while the time is still there. There's a massive difference between those who are shut out of God's kingdom and those who are enjoying being in it. So come to be part of the feast. Come and join us. Lastly, read about Jesus' heart for the Jews, but notice that it says that they aren't willing to believe in him. They literally had him walking around with them and they continued to choose not to believe. So if you don't follow Jesus, then maybe think about what Jesus says about the narrow gate. Does that surprise you? If you are a believer, then think about the mustard seed. As we wait for the celebrations at Christmas for Jesus, maybe think about how living as part of God's kingdom has been for you over the years. What an absolutely massive privilege. Right, I'm feeling Christmassy and I want to know what the best cracker joke is. So this is the one that Steve has chosen for today. I haven't read these before, so this is going to be a genuine reaction. And here we go. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Because it's too far to walk. I hope that you have a better day than that joke has started you off with.